what do you see on trends of the market? Uh, how do you, uh, like right, right now after the pandemic, what do you expect for the market to grow in September, October, November, the inventory and uh, the, again, the residents will, will someone just get rid of something on Long Island and buy Florida only, or will they still have a piece on in, in Queens and Florida? Well, my predictions are, and I follow a lot of really top-notch people that, especially Lauren Sion, who is National Association of Realtors expert and chief economist, uh, I have to honestly tell you, their predictions are very, very interesting. I was actually foreseeing the same thing, but they just confirmed it about a few days ago. The way we are predicting the market with flow is very interesting. Right now, due to pandemic, a lot of people were not even in New York and Queens area. A lot of people escaped to upstate New York. A lot of people escaped to Florida. A lot of people escaped all over different parts of the world, if possible, to just be away from the crowds. What's happening right now with vaccines being in place, a lot of people are getting vaccinated. A lot of people are coming back to New York. And so what is allowing us to have the opportunity, more listing opportunities, more um, inventory coming on the market. And we personally predict that there is going to be more uh, opportunities with buyers being able to not fight over properties anymore. I think that's going to cool off a little bit because I think that wave is potentially will be coming down mm -hmm. if it's not already down in certain parts. Queens market was always different than any other markets to that begin with. Mm -hmm. I think Long Island, Queens and Manhattan got affected in a very different ways. Mm -hmm. But I think that Florida market would also start cooling off a little bit. But with the inventory coming more and more on the market, I feel Feel like people will have more opportunities to pick and choose where they would like to be and that hype of the market i think is coming to the tip of the iceberg that is great and maybe finally uh, someone will be able to afford uh, different uh, residences in throughout the country yes absolutely i also feel that uh, upstate new york got very very lucky I think that uh, Pennsylvania, Poconos, all those areas, Connecticut, uh, Westchester, New Jersey, all those more suburban areas outside of New York City got very, very lucky because I feel that people were trying to escape that claustrophobic living on top of each other okay. lifestyle. Vertical lifestyle was also something that people were trying to avoid. Uh, Co-ops are kind of like taking a little bit of a deep um, feeling of how the market is performing on co-op market. Um, but I think generally we will be coming down a little bit more into a normal market.